Hi, welcome to the PageFly video tutorial. In this video, I will give you a short tour on how to use PageFly. First, let's explore the PageFly menu navigation. First of all, at the top of the PageFly dashboard, you'll find four tasks to help you get started. View quick introduction about PageFly. Create your first page. Enable PageFly analytics. And enable UI optimization. Click on each task to start your journey with PageFly. After completing each task, mark it as done by clicking on the circle, and the status bar will display your progress. Once you've finished all four steps, you're ready to customize your store and boost your conversion rates with PageFly. As you scroll down the dashboard, you'll see sections for slot usages, recent pages, support channels, recommended blogs to help you increase conversion rate and optimize your page, discount from PageFly's app partner, and what's new. Moving on to the navigation bars below, we will have pages where you can create your page, sections where you can create global sections for your page or theme, analytics where you can understand about your page performance, extra functions, this includes additional functions like integrations, mobile styles, option swatches, uploaded fonts, trash, and media files. Each of these features has a detailed video tutorial. Please check the link in description below. And finally, preferences, which manage your account. In the billing section, you can check your current plan as well as upgrade your plan here. Analytics. In the user interface section, you can easily select the language you understand. Theme app extensions. And referral program. Next, I'll guide you through creating a new page on the PageFly Builder app. Head to the Pages navigation bar. Here, you can find all page types. To start creating a new page, click the Create Blank Page button and select the type of page you want to create. This will open a blank page where you can add elements to design your page as you wish. Alternatively, you can choose to create from a template select a template that suits your needs, and you'll be taken to a pre-designed layout and settings. Customize the elements to match your preferences. Besides, you can easily import your pages by clicking the Import button here. Now, let's discover the key features of the PageFly Page Editor. In the small screen view, depending on your screen ratio, the PageFly Page Editor will show all settings on the left side. On a larger screen, the settings appear in the left menu bar, and the settings for each element, including General and Styling tabs, are displayed on the right side. In the left-hand side menu, you'll find essential features such as Page Content Element Third-party elements Page Templates Page Settings Version History Custom Code Editor Open Live Chat Head to the top navigation bar, you'll see buttons to set up general page information, including Switch Device View Mode Configure Canvas Size Page Editor Settings Redo and Undo button Preview Page button View Live Page button Scarred and Save buttons Right below the top navigation bar, you'll find the General and Styling tabs when you click on any element in the Page Editor. General tab allows you to change the content of the element. And Styling tab allows you to adjust the appearance of the element. Finally, when you're satisfied with your work, you can preview or publish the page. Once you're done building the page, click Save to save it to the database. This does not make it public yet. You can preview the page by clicking the eye icon. When your page is ready to go live, click the Publish button to make the page public. You can view the live page via Live View. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos. Thanks for watching.